I've decided to do some cleanup on this engine since I have it out. Um, you know, it's got is it a Wyatt? Oh, Edelrock. Uh, intake manifold, and I'll probably keep these uh, exhaust headers. But, um, you know, the I, uh, I took the engine, rolled it outside, hit it with the uh, power washer, and, uh, you know, covered everything so that... Uh, Water wasn't going to get in there, and uh, it took a lot of the, the stuff off. So um, I already started on this side. Let me move the light over. I have enough room. So I started this side already, took the exhaust manifold off. Oddly enough, that was it must have, they must have been removed recently because it, it just came right off. Um, and, uh, I have some POR 15 engine paint that I did on the Fury a few years ago and it's still liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and use that stuff. And it recommends putting on the POR 15, uh, before to, to, for best results. Now I did screw up and, uh, it said to apply the color within after it dries, but it's still kind of sticky, which is somewhere between two and six hours. So I screwed that up, but is what it is. So I'm going to remove the exhaust manifold, anything, the uh, engine mounts, uh, anything, probably the fuel pump uh, that uh, I need to put paint on and, and then wire brush it and clean it up best I can, try to get down to the original block, remove the grease. And then uh, just kind of paint, paint up the engine a little bit, make it look a little nicer. As you saw in the video, finished the uh, POR 15 on that side, and I got the front done. And then just a little bit ago, I cleaned up this part of the block, top side, and put some there. I still got to do this side, but uh, yeah, it's coming along. It's pretty easy. And uh, then I'll be able to shoot or brush on one coat of paint over the whole thing, or multiple coats is probably going to take multiple coats but should be blue again here's the uh, paint that I'm using uh, you can't really read it but it is POR 15 engine enamel and this is what I did the 440 in it is brush on but uh, because it's so thick it you really don't see the brush strokes and uh, I thought it came out really good uh, this is of course the Plymouth blue wanna and a woody does not like this color so wood this is for you
All right, so here is the final product. I saw a shadow and I thought it was a spot. Anyway, um, it's not perfect. It uh, has a few runs. Uh, the paint kind of was thick. For the record, that is not a run right there. That is the block. Um, I created runs, but not that bad. Anywho, um, yeah, so this is paint I had left over. It's not perfect, um, but it's just a little something. It was free for me to do this. And I still have to do the valve covers and the oil pan. I had some PR15 silver that I was thinking about doing the oil pan in, but I just checked it and it's dried solid. So um, I think it, it went on kind of thick and which is weird why it's running. But um, I think part of that problem is it's been sitting for four years, three years, four years, probably. Um, and so it started to thicken up a little bit. I probably should have thinned it out a little bit, but um, I'm happy with the result. I think it's going to look great once it has all the parts on it. And I am going to paint the valve covers, clean up the intake, and do something with the oil pan. Oil pan. So, anyway, uh, moving on. Here is an update. I did uh, paint the oil pan using that Dupacolor engine paint. It'll be interesting to see um, how long the, how well the paint does, how well the paint does on the pan versus the block. I know doing the uh, 440, I mean, it still has a good coat of paint on it, even with the headers or close to the headers. There might be a little discoloration, um, but still several years of, of stuff. So uh, I haven't done the valve covers yet. I think I'm going to put the engine in and then do the valve covers so that I don't scratch them as I'm, I'm moving stuff around. But uh, next step is to get it ready to put in the Fury. So I'll do that next.